To set up your camera for a museum setting, it's really quite simple. There's really just one thing you need to remember, and that's to not use the flash. You can't use a flash in a museum, which means we may need to increase the ISO in order to maintain a fast shutter speed. Which means, like with most pictures, use the program mode. This is the P on your mode dial. Set this to program. As long as we're up here, just go ahead and make sure that your exposure compensation is at zero. And my ISO currently is set to 200, and that might change depending on the lighting situation. My flash is turned on, which is not good, so you want to absolutely make sure that this is turned off. Go ahead and press the flash button here. With the dial, I'll just move over to flash off and hit set. My white balance is currently set to daylight. This also may not be good because usually museums use tungsten lighting. So I will press the shortcut button. You can either press the shortcut button or the function button. Previously in the Getting Started Guide, I set up my shortcut button to access white balance. So I'll just press that and roll over to tungsten. Press set. Now my flash is turned off. My tungsten white balance is set. And I want to make sure that my ISO is set properly. So the way you do this is very simple. Go ahead and press the shutter button halfway. You may not be able to focus on your subject because it is very, very low light. And I'll show you how to set that in a second. But for now, we're not worried about focusing. We just want to see what our shutter speed is set to. Right now, I do have plenty of light, much more than you'll have in a museum. So I have 1 over 400. In your case, if it's less than 1 60th of a second, it becomes very, very difficult to hand hold. So you may want to increase the ISO until you get this above 1 60th of a second. So I'll turn my ISO dial, 400, maybe even 800. 1600 will definitely get me enough light, but it'll be a lot more grainy than you probably want. So I try and stick to 800 or 400. Press the shutter button halfway again, and now you can see that I'm at 1 1600th of a second, which is plenty fast. In your case, you don't want it to be that fast, again, because 800 will produce a much more grainy image. I'd rather go low and keep this close to 1 60th of a second, just to know that I can handhold it, but maintain the smoothest colors possible. Now for focusing, if it's too dark to focus and the camera may have difficulty, even with the assist light activated, when you press the shutter button halfway, you may be either too close to your subject, which means you need to use the macro mode, or if not, then it may mean that there isn't enough light. In that case, I would recommend using the manual focus. Go ahead and press the MF button right here. And now you can use the scroll dial to move this little ruler to indicate the distance between the camera and your subject. So use the little dial, and my setting right now is to zoom in the manual focus point so you get this little zoom box. But basically, you zoom in. Right now my ruler is in meters and centimeters. This can also be changed to feet and inches in the setup menu. But this is the default setting, so I'm sticking to that. I set this to two meters. And basically all I want to do is position myself about two meters away from the subject so that I know it's in focus. I can set this to five meters. I can set this to one meter. It really depends on how far away you want to be from your subject. So once that's set, press the shutter button halfway. Even though the camera is not focusing because we did set up a manual focus, I want to give the camera a chance to get set up and give myself a chance to compose the image with the button pressed halfway. And once I am composed, just go ahead and press the shutter button all the way to take the picture. And I want to make sure that my focusing is accurate. So I'll go ahead and press the play button to see the last picture that was taken. Right now, I can't see whether it's in focus or not. Even though it may look like it's in focus, it may not be in focus. So what you want to do is with your zoom lever, Go ahead and magnify the image by zooming into it. Just pull that to the right. And you can see the graininess in the image because I was using a high ISO. And I can move around 
and I can see that it's not bad. But I could probably get the focus much better than this if I did not set it to two meters, but set it to the proper distance that I am from my subject. So in my case, I didn't expect it to be much better than this. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.